removing the crush bar was pretty easy. Just a few taps here and there and it came right off. There were two sensors underneath that I had to disconnect. The radiator and its housing were also simple to take apart. Just two coolant hoses and two connectors. With the radiator assembly out of the way, it was time to remove the front subframe, which includes the drive unit, steering rack, and front suspension. I disconnected two coolant hoses and one high voltage connector, then used the proper jack to support the subframe before unbolting it from the car frame. The difference between the front and rear subframe assemblies is that one side of the front drive unit mounts directly to the car frame using two mounts. On the rear, both mounts are on the subframe itself, which actually makes removal and installation a lot easier. As I was lowering the front subframe, I suddenly heard a loud snap. My heart dropped. The coolant side of the heat pump assembly has a coolant line that connects to the drive unit and I had forgotten to disconnect. The plastic connector broke. What's frustrating is that I saw that connector earlier and I knew it had to come off, but I completely forgot. I really hope I can remove just that broken part and replace it instead of the entire heat pump assembly. Replacing the whole unit would mean draining the AC refrigerant and recharging the system afterwards, which would add hours of extra work I would rather avoid. The good news, after about 2 hours I was able to remove the broken part. I'm pretty sure that I can use the same part from my donor vehicle and get it fixed properly.